Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my comfort food series. What is more comforting than meatloaf? Nothing, well maybe mac and cheese, but meatloaf is one of the most comforting foods ever. And it is that time of year where meatloaf, crock pot meals, comfort food, comes back. So tonight I have a delicious WW friendly meatloaf for you. I also am going to share my potato soup recipe that was in my instant pot video down in the description box. We're having that soup with our meatloaf. This dinner was so good. My husband loved it. Men are typically a big fan of comfort food, especially red meat. So this meatloaf was amazing and the smart points were spectacular. So if you want to see what I have in store for this episode of my comfort food, on WW, just stay tuned. For tonight's comfort food dinner, we are gonna be having meatloaf. I am so excited. With the changing weather, meatloaf just sounds really good. And it is extremely low smart point. So let me show you what is in our meatloaf. So first you're going to need some milk or milk alternative of your choice. Brown sugar alternative, I'm gonna be using the Sucrin Gold. Any type of breadcrumbs, or you could even use crushed up crackers, whatever you prefer. But I'm gonna be doing this roasted garlic breadcrumbs. Of course, some salt and pepper, some sugar, some or sugar, ketchup. So I'm gonna be doing the G Hughes sugar-free ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, lots of spices, chili powder, parsley, minced onion, ground sage, garlic powder, and ground mustard. We're gonna need one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, so I'll just put the other half a pound back in the freezer and some eggs. So let's get started on our meatloaf. So to get started on our meatloaf, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of milk, and we're going to add two eggs, and we want about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, so you know your girl doesn't measure, so I'm just gonna kinda wing about a teaspoon of that. And I'm gonna give this a stir, make sure those eggs get broken up and everything gets mixed together, and then we'll add some of our dry ingredients. Once your egg and milk is nice and combined, we're gonna add in one quarter cup of minced onion, or if you went ahead and used raw onion, you would do about a quarter of a cup of that as well. Also, we have one half of a cup of the roasted garlic breadcrumbs. We're going to add some pepper, and again, with salt and pepper and most seasonings, I honestly just do it to taste. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, and I'm also going to add in a little salt, garlic powder, and again, I'm winging it here. It wants about three teaspoons of garlic powder, so a decent amount in there. We're also going to add in some chili powder, about a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, we don't like our food spicy, so I go pretty light on anything that has spice in it. We're also going to be adding in some sage, so about a half of a teaspoon or so of ground sage. And lastly, I have some parsley, and I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of parsley. And then we're gonna get this mixed together and we're ready to add in our hamburger. And this is where things get messy. We're going to combine our hamburger with this deliciousness with our hands. It just definitely makes it a little bit easier. So let's add our hamburger. So I've went ahead and added my one and a half pounds of ground beef. The other half a pound, I'm just gonna put back into the freezer. So it's time to get our hands in and just mix that meat in really good with our breadcrumb mixture. And then you can either cook your meatloaf in a bread pan, or I'm gonna go ahead and form mine on a cookie sheet. I think it helps a little bit better with the grease. It allows the grease to run off. Even though this is extra lean meat, there's still going to be a little bit of grease. So I prefer to just shake mine into a meatloaf shape on a cookie sheet. So let me get this breadcrumb all mixture all combined here with my hamburger and we'll be ready to get our meatloaf on the sheet pan and ready to go into the oven. So once you have your meat nice and mixed together, that looks so good, we're going to go ahead and pull out our meatloaf and we're going to put it here on a cookie sheet and we're just going to form it into a loaf and again i prefer this only because it does really help cut down on the grease so i want to get it as even as possible it's about i would say 10 inches or so long and maybe about an inch and a half thick or so so that's a good sized loaf 
for the meatloaf and then we're gonna put together our topping but this looks really good I can't wait so now let's put together our glaze our meatloaf is about 10 minutes out so I'm gonna be using the G Hughes sugar-free ketchup and I want about a quarter of a cup I'm not measuring because it is zero points and by the way this sugar-free ketchup in my opinion is better than the low sugar one this one is so good so I added that I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow ground mustard you could also use regular mustard if you want and two teaspoons of my sucre and gold and I'm going to stir this all together and then we're ready to glaze our meatloaf and this will get that nice caramelized coating oh yum so let me pull my meatloaf out and we'll add our glaze all right so I just pulled my meatloaf out and I'm just going to add my glaze to the top of course it's okay if it kind of drips down the side and then of course you can serve this with additional ketchup or steak sauce or whatever you prefer on your meatloaf I like mine just like this but I know my husband will be adding some ketchup I'm not a huge ketchup person not my favorite condiment in the world so I'm okay with my meatloaf just like this with this delicious glaze on it so I'm gonna put this back into the oven for about 10 more minutes and then our meatloaf will be ready to go so look at that it's looking delish I just pulled the meatloaf out of the oven it looks so delicious I'm gonna let it rest for just a few minutes I'm gonna cut this into six servings I'm gonna plate it up with some vegetables and then we're also having some of the leftover instant pot potato soup I will link that video down below for you guys so you can see that recipe the potato soup is delicious so let me get this plated up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points so here is my dinner for tonight this looks so good and comforting what's better comfort food than meatloaf so I have one sixth of my meatloaf so this is quite a large piece one sixth is only five smart points so that's a good amount of meatloaf for the points i have some california blend vegetables with some spray butter salt and pepper for zero and then i have half of a serving of the instant pot potato soup with a little bit of green onion and bacon on top and that is two smart points so this entire dinner is only seven smart points and you can't beat meatloaf for five Thank you for coming along with me on another episode in my WW Comfort Food series. I hope you enjoyed seeing this meatloaf recipe. It was really good. And the meatloaf was very tender and moist, which sometimes I find that meatloaf can be dry, especially when you're using a really lean ground beef or a turkey. But this was very moist, very delicious so incredibly good and the soup is outstanding you can't beat it so i'm going to link that recipe down in the description box for you as well give you an added benefit of a second recipe so comfort food is back i can't wait to share more of these in the upcoming next few fall and winter months with you so if you're new to my channel make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you're notified when i upload thumbs up this one comment down below let me know what you thought of this episode of comfort food and i'll see you guys all in my next video Bye, guys.